Hello beautiful people, welcome to Remy's fashion channel. My name is Remy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draft a corset pattern. If you want to learn an easier way to draft this pattern, then keep watching. Measurements needed. You will need your shoulder measurement, shoulder to bust, shoulder to under bust, shoulder to waist, bust circumference, under bust circumference, bust span measurement, which is also known as nipple to nipple, corset length, that's the length you want your corset to be, and then you also need your waist circumference measurement and hip circumference measurement. So the measurements I'll be working with are, my shoulder measurement is gonna be 18 inches divided by two, I'm gonna get nine inches. Shoulder to bust is gonna be 12 inches. My shoulder to under bust is gonna be 16 inches. My shoulder to my waist is gonna be 18 inches. My bust circumference measurement is gonna be divided by four, which is 44 divided by four is equal to 11. My under bust circumference measurement is going to be 37 divided by 4, which is 9.25. My bust span, which is nipple to nipple measurement, is going to be 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches. I'm going to add half an inch allowance, which is going to be 4.5 inches. The corset length I'm going to be working with is 24 inches. While my waist circumference measurement is going to be 38 inches divided by 4, I'm going to get 9.5 inches. My hip circumference measurement is going to be 47. If I divide it by 4, I'm going to get 11 point. 75 inches so the first thing i'm going to do now is to draw out a starting point so i'm going to be drawing out a starting point and i'm going to name this starting point my shoulder line so we're going to be drafting a corset at the same time i'm just going to show you how in case you want to use a yoke for your corset pattern you have a yoke attached to it so you either just use the corset pattern itself that's the tube top or you attach a yoke so i'm just going to be doing that together so that you can see how it's done so now this is going to be my shoulder line so i'm just going to put sl here this is my shoulder line and then i'm going to measure all my vertical measurements that is from my shoulder to my bust my shoulder to my under bust my shoulder to my waist and then then the length of my top my shoulder to my bust is 12 inches i'm just going to mark 12 inches puts me here shoulder to my under bust is 16 inches so i'll mark shoulder to my waist is 18 inches and the length of the corset i want to make is 24 inches okay so i'm just going to do the same thing on this side and then row. and then i'm just going to draw a horizontal line to connect the points together And this is my shoulder line which i've already labeled this is my bust line i'm just going to put bl here so that we don't get confused this is my under bust line so under bust and then this is my waistline i'm just going to put wl which is waistline and this is the length so this is the length line of our corset so the next thing i'm going to do is to measure out my shoulder measurement so mine is 18 inches shoulders are divided into two by the time i divide 18 inches by two i'm going to get nine inches so i'm just going to measure from the beginning so nine inches will put me here. So I'm going to mark. I'm going to just put a dot there. That's nine inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out our neck width and our neck depth. Just like I said earlier, you do not really need this for your corset pattern, the tube top. But I'm doing it anyway. If you want to add a yoke to your pattern, you know how to draft it. So I'm just going to be using the standard measurements, which is three inches by three inches. Three inches neck width and three inches neck depth. And then I'm just going to connect those points together. So you can adjust this depending on what style you want. For a corset, we do not need this part. I will draft it so as to show you the yoke of this corset. So that in case you want to have a yoke, you already know how to draft it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to slope my shoulder by one inch. The reason why we do that is because our shoulders are not straight. So I'm going to slope one inch down i'm going to measure the one inch and then i'll connect to my neckline width like this to create the armhole curve we want to be able to create our armhole curve the armhole line is going to guide us to be able to draft our tube and for us to be able to create that armhole curve for that we need our armhole measurement or you divide your bust by six and add 1.5 inches measure what you get on there so my bust is 43 inches when i divide that by six it gives me 7.33 and then when i add 1.5 inches i'm going to get 8.8333 so i'm going to approximate it to nine inches so i'm just going to measure my nine inches from my slope so nine inches will put 
me here and then I will draw a vertical line to meet my slope and then I'm going to draw a line outwards as well and that's going to help us with our armhole curve. This is a guide for us. So this is our chest line or upper bust line. I can just put it here, chest line or upper bust line. We will now create the curve by finding the midpoint of our armhole line. I'm using nine inches. For me to be able to get the armhole line, I need half of it. Half of the nine inches is 4.5 inches, which puts me here. So from this midpoint, I'm going to measure half an inch inwards. So this is what we're going to be using to create our armhole curve. We need the midpoint for both the front and the back, but we only need to come in half an inch inward for the front. For the back, we do not need that. For the back, all we need to do is put midpoint and then connect to our upper bust line. So the next thing I'm going to do is from my under bust line, I'm going to go up by half an inch. The reason why we're going up by half an inch is, you know, most times you're drafting a corset, you don't really need to wear a bra. So you need to have that support. So half an inch is what I'm going to go up. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect the points. Okay, so after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to plot our bust pan measurement. That is also known as our nipple to nipple measurement. Just like I had mentioned earlier, my bust pan measurement is 4 inches. By the time I add half an inch to it, it's going to be 4.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 4.5 inches from my bust line all the way down. So 4.5 inches puts me here, I will mark. I measure 4.5 inches on my under bust line and then I will mark. And then I'll do the same thing for my waist and the length of my top. The next thing is I'm going to draw a vertical line to connect all the points. Okay, so after doing that, this is our bust pan measurement. So the next thing we're going to do is to get our bust radius. So in order to do that, we're going to measure the distance between the bust line and our under bust line. By the time I take my measurement like this, and that's 3.5 inches. That's what it gives me. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure 3.5 inches round like this all round all round to give me a round circle which will guide me on how to draft my breast cup and then if you have a compass you can use your compass to do that i have a compass so i'm going to be using a compass to to draw the circle so this is what our circle looks like so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use my marker so that you can see it clearly so this is our circle so the next thing we need to do is to create a space in between our bust at the center front. We need to have a space between our bust on the center front. So in doing that, from this point, I'm going to measure one and a half inches upwards from our bust line. I'll put a mark there. On this same point, measure three quarter inches inwards. So I'm measuring three quarter inches inwards. That puts me here. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to have space in between the bust. Since the bust is not so close together. And then the next thing, I'm going to draw the line outwards like this. And then from that three quarter inches, I'm going to draw the line down to our under bust. And then from here, now I'm going to create a curve. So I'm going to connect from the three inches we went inwards. I'm going to connect it to our under bust using my curve ruler. So the next thing we're going to do is to move this circle towards the sides. Because the breast is fuller at the sides. I'm going to measure one inch outwards. So one inch like this will put me here. And then from our chest line, I'm going to go down by half an inch. And then I'm going to connect from here to here. From this half an inch that we came down from our chest line, I'm going to create a curve to our under bust. Okay, like this. You see, our cup is taking shape. And then what I will do is, I'm just going to mark this half an inch outwards like this. So this is what we have. So the next thing we're going to do now, extend the dark line upwards. At the top of this circle, so you can either go up by half an inch or one inch, or you go down by half an inch or one inch, depending on if you want to show a bit of flesh, you can come down. But for me, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be leaving my point on top of the circle. So I'm going to be connecting from this to the right hand side and then from here to the left hand side. So the next thing now, I'm going to connect from this, just like I said, to here. To the left hand side and to the right hand side i'm going to be using my curve to do that so i'm going to connect from here to the top like this and then from here to this side as well 
So this is our new breast cup. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create our darts. I'm going to create the darts at the top and at the bottom and then on the body of our top. To do that, I'm going to be marking one inch on each side for our cup, top and bottom, and then for the body of our top. I want to mark one inch on each side, one inch here, one inch here. Okay, so this point and this point. Then I'm going to do the same thing down here. One inch here and then one inch here. So the next thing is to connect. I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect them. So I'm connecting here to here, here to here. And then this top, I'm connecting from here to here and here to here. Okay, so I'm going to start with this using my curve. I don't want pointed edges. I'm going to curve in like this. And then I'll take the curve on this side. And then I'm going to curve it in like this. So I'll do the same for the top. I'm going to take it like this and draw my dots and then on this side. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to draw the dart legs. I'm also going to be measuring one inch on each side. So one inch will put me here and one inch will put me here. I will connect the points like this. So after drawing in our dart, so the next thing we're going to do now is to plot in our horizontal measurements. Those are our circumference measurements. So I'm going to be starting with the bust circumference. My bust circumference is 44 inches. And if I divide that by 4, it's going to give me 11 inches. So I'll measure 11 inches. 11 inches is going to put me here. And then I'm going to be adding this 2 inches that one inch here one inch here so two inches so two inches that these two inches that we use for the dart i'm going to be adding it back here that's two inches and then my under bust circumference measurement is 9.25 inches so under bust 9.25 i will measure 9.25 inches 9.25 puts me here and then i'm going to add back this two inches that that we took so i'll add two inches back and then my waist circumference measurement is 9.5 inches. 9.5 inches puts me here. And then by the time I take out these two inches as well, it's going to pull me here. Two inches. I'll just add two inches. And then for the length of our corset, I'm going to be using my hip circumference measurement for that, which is 11.75. By the time I measure 11.75, 11.75 puts me here and then i'm going to be adding two inches to that as well and that's two inches so now i'm going to connect all my points together so i'm going to be connecting from my chest line to my under bust like this and then from my under bust to my waistline like this and then i'll connect from the waistline to the length of my corset okay so this is what i have so this is my top. So I'm going to draw out our armhole curve right now. Since I've plotted my bust circumference measurement, I'll use a straight line to connect to the half an inch. And then I'll use a curve. Just like I said, this is a guide for our tube. You can use this as a yoke, but it's a guide for our tube as well. You can draft the corset without this, but we'll still need this as a guide. So now I've finished drafting this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to add sewing allowances around this pattern. You can decide you want to add sewing allowance. You can decide to wait till when you want to cut out on fabric. For me, I'm just going to be adding to the side and to the length of our top. So I'm just going to add extra two inches here and two inches here. So this is our hemline. And then I'll just add extra two inches to the side. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to just write in my labels so that I will remember what I have done. And for me not to get confused, I'm going to label this. This is going to be number one and this is going to be number two, right? And then this is going to be number three and this is number four. So when I take this pattern, I know exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put left here and then right here so that I know this is my right hand side and this is my left hand side and I can match them together like that. And then three and four. So I know that this 
goes with this left and then right this goes with this okay so that way you're not making any mistake you're not even thinking about what you're going to do and then this is going to be on fold this is the center front so i'm going to put the center front on fold so i'm just going to indicate that my center front is going to be on fold so i'm just going to write on fold so when i want to cut out this pattern i will see this and i will know exactly what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to put my fabric on fold and i'll place this on top of it before i cut okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out this pattern but before I cut out this pattern, I will draft the back pattern. So I've indicated this is going to be on fold. Just like I said, I have one, two, then left and right. So I know that this is on my left, this is on my right. This is my left, this is on my right as well. And then the next thing is this pattern. I'm just going to cut one. And since it's going to be on fold, so I will indicate cut one. So I'm only cutting one of this. So when I take this pattern, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So the next thing we're going to do now is to draft the back pattern. So I'm going to be using these lines to draft the back pattern. So I'm going to be extending those lines as a guide for my back pattern. So these are my lines which I've extended. Okay. This is my shoulder line. This is my chest line. And then this is our waistline. So waistline. And then this is our length line. This is our hem, hem line. And then this is the length line. So now I'm going to measure out one inch for my zipper allowance. So this is my zipper allowance. So the difference between the front and the back and bone, it will not go in by half an inch. My shoulder is nine inches, so I'm going to measure nine inches. That puts me here and then i'm just going to come down by one inch i'll just do a basic neckline which like i said you don't need for this tube top or you need it if you're going to be doing a yoke so the next thing is i'm just going to connect the one inch i went down to my neckline and i'll measure my armhole line which is nine inches which actually puts me here exactly and then I'll take the midpoint, which is 4.5 inches, and I'll connect it to our circumference. So once we plot in our circumference measurement, I'll connect it to that. So the next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to add our bust band measurement to the chest line, to the waistline, and then to the length of our corset. And that measurement for me is 4.5 inches. This is my zipper allowance, so I'm just going to start the line after the zipper. So 4.5 inches puts me here, and then 4.5 inches on my waistline as well puts me here. From the length line, I'm going to go up by one inch. I'm just going to go up by one inch. And then from my upper bust line, I'm going to go down by half an inch. And then I'll connect the points. I want to now draw my dart legs. I'm going to take half inch on each side of my waistline for my dart. So which is a total of one inch here and here. And then I'll connect upwards and downwards. So this is our dart for our back. So the next thing I need to do now is to plot in our horizontal measurements. Starting with the bust measurement, just like I calculated, mine is 11 inches. Bust circumference measurement is 11 inches. I'm just going to measure. 11 inches puts me here. My waist circumference measurement is 9.5 inches. So I'm just going to measure 9.5 inches puts me here. And I'm going to add one inch, this one inch dart allowance. One inch puts me here. Our corset length, I'm going to be using the hip circumference measurement, which is 11.75. And then I will measure 11.75 puts me here. And then I'm going to connect the points. I will just draw out my armhole, which is from the midpoint of my armhole line. So now I'm going to eliminate the bulge that we usually see at the back. So from the waistline, I'm going to measure half an inch inwards like this. Connect it like this. Using my curve ruler downwards and then upwards. I measured another half an inch outwards on the second line and I connected to the bottom and then I connected to the top. And then I added two inches allowance. You can do that on your fabric or I prefer to do it on my pattern right now. So for the back, still put my fabric on fold and then place this on top and then I will cut. Once I cut, I'll open it up. So I'll just write cut one on fold. 
I'm just indicating so that when I take this pattern, I know exactly what I'm doing. So these are my corset patterns with yoke. If you need a yoke on yours, the front and the back top can be used as a yoke, depending on the style you want to do. But if you're just doing the tube, we use this. This is the front and this is the back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is cut out this pattern. So I'm going to be cutting out the red line. Our corset pattern and then if you want the yoke here you go this is the front with the yoke if you want the yoke this is it if not this is it so we're going to cut out the back now So this is the back, this is our tube for the back and then this is the yoke if you want a yoke. So this is our corset, our front and the back. If you want it with yoke, you have the yoke. If you want to make your style without yoke, you can take off the yoke. You have two in one. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you in our next tutorial. Take care and God bless.